All right, everyone, here is another hydrogen cell I've created. Uh, this is a 25 inch, 24 inch, sorry. Um, one's a 304, the other is a 316L. Um, the inner tube's a 316L, uh, and the outer tube is a 304 stainless steel. Uh, the only difference with this cell, really, is I'm going parallel. That is right. My gap is also a little wider. It's a about a sixteenth of an inch gap. So I've got the outer tube that is a one inch outer diameter, a um, little bit of thickness on there as you can see, and the inner tube is a three fourth inch outer diameter. So overall, I have about a sixteenth of an inch gap, but that's not really the goal for this video. I just wanted to show my output in parallel. So I have the same traditional circuit as before. I've showcased my cap dump circuit previously. I'm actually running only three of them now. Uh, and this is really just taking voltages off of the wall. Nothing crazy. Uh, as you can see, there is minimal production after a few days of running it. Uh, I changed the water and that's when I noticed that the production through a lot so it's important to change the water after time when doing this um, I guess you may wonder why I chose longer tubes well I did that just out of surface area I also did sand the inner tube because I felt that was important so that that layer could form better um, yeah over time running it uh, I do have to say the first run I did on this I was getting no bubbles actually um, and the clicks were having a hard time through the capacitor dump circuit um, but over time it did start dumping eventually and I was getting proper voltages to dump into the cell so the idea is it reaches a hundred volts through the capacitor it then triggers a neon bulb and you can see it flash it's kind of hard to see but it is there and all three of them are operating in parallel so you get 100 volt spikes I'm, I'm gonna assume the more you have the more oomph you would get to the cell um, there's four of these microwave capacitors um, but one of them stopped working so I took it off and now there's only three of the actual cap dumps and my overall draw is 1.7 watts it's kind of hard to see there it is uh, but what I wanted to point out mainly was, since you're not using a direct 100 volt DC, uh, just basically going via bridge or however you really want to do it over the, the wall power, you're really only getting the spikes, and they, they have such little current that I guess over time the cell really does have a way to treat those voltages kindly. Um, just because a day later, even an hour after running my cap dump, I was getting no bubbles. I mean, what you're seeing here is actually like, I, I don't even know how it's possible, but it, it happens. It just goes over time and I'm getting more production. Um, that's really it. That's really all I wanted to point out. I'm doing a new, a new tube design. It's all in parallel. Um, and with that, out of the way I really don't get shocked when I touch the tubes now because it's just direct 100 volt dumping um, and as you can see on the inside yeah there are those inner tubes um, I think the point to make with a parallel um, I didn't do them before but I'm doing them now because I realized that going directly to that inner tube will do a true 100 volts um, assuming it has a good enough resistance and you don't drop the current too bad on the water's conductivity uh, and yeah it is a dry configuration that is something I really like about it uh, over time I do expect this output to be some of the best that I've seen I don't I don't know how long it'll take uh, but I am very happy with the production increasing over time. I mean, you really just 
it, there was nothing producing before and now it's actually producing something so I just find that interesting um, yeah the takeaway that is with parallel if you get one little grain of something conductive and it goes between those tubes the whole thing is shorted and well I guess you don't have to start over but you have to take it apart and figure out where that short is and that's one thing I didn't like but I'm not going to do series because I realize that neutral platings have a takeaway and you lose voltage, so that's what I've been able to do for 1.7 watts because I realized that 5 watt hydrogen previously was not needed and I can even go less. I can go less than that, so I'll show what this does one week from now. How about that? I'll wait a week. I might even build an 11 cap dump array. Not sure. I'll probably keep the old one just for traditional sake, but I might build an 11 array because I, I bought some microwave capacitors off AliExpress and see if I can condition this even faster. I should be able to, and I will touch back then.